we are at Prada Foundation in Venice. Everybody talks about the weather. You organized all these beautiful things we are going to see. Which is the aim of this exhibition, hmm. apart from the weather? Well, um, the aim of the exhibition is to talk about the weather, um, or the aim of the exhibition is to, to take truly seriously talking about the weather as a gateway to talk about the very difficult subject that is climate change. You know, climate change and the climate crisis, which we of course every experience on an everyday basis, <clears throat> is something that is sometimes a little bit paralyzing. It can be very difficult for people in the art world and in the cultural field more generally to really kind of address this incredibly urgent um, and pressing issue. <clears throat> and the basic argument of the exhibition is that everybody talks about the weather. Everybody enjoys talking about the weather. It's something that everybody has always done forever and will always continue to do. And in a way, my suggestion is that by talking about the weather, we could perhaps more seriously and more responsibly talk about the climate and climate change and the climate crisis. And that, in a nutshell, is what this exhibition is about. That's why I suggest that everybody, that Tutti Parlano del Tempo. Everybody talks about the weather and artists working with uh, climate changing. Mm -hmm and they have to find a way to talk about it in an artistic way. So not only photos, not only videos, but for example, what you have behind you, mm -hmm. that is a great example of an artist dealing with the weather intervening exactly, yes. on the art. Yes, Vivian Sutter. Yes. Vivian Sutter is an Argentinian born uh, Swiss artist who's lived in Guatemala for almost 40 years. And she only ever paints outside in her garden, in the jungle. And uh, the paintings, in a way, are co-offered by herself. And meteorological elements, the wind, the rain, sun, heat, moisture. And so, in a way, you could look at these paintings as weather reports, almost. They're impressions of what weather does to us on a daily basis. Um, but they're also landscape paintings, in a way, in a tradition that was pioneered by people like Claude Monet and artists whose work you can also see downstairs. Um, <clears throat> so Vivian Sutter is not a climate activist, and her work does not directly address climate change, but it certainly talks about the weather. As the one here. Yes, Nick Raffle. Um, Nick Raffle is a, is a, is a lesser-known, younger, a sculptor who's based in Chicago, which is also where I live, and it's, it's, it's how I got to know his work. And he installed inside the Piano Nobile of the film Fondazione Prada a fully functioning fan made out of balsa wood. It's an, a, an incredibly light material. It's a beautiful object. If you hold it in your hand, if you look at it, it's actually an absolutely, it's a beautifully sculpted um, uh, um, artwork but it's also a fully functioning fan that even though it rotates only very slowly, it produces enough change in the airflow to allow the Fondazione Prada to lower the amount of air conditioning used throughout the summer. And of course, we all know that air conditioning is bad for the environment. Thank you.